Alright everybody, welcome back to vlog me and Alex. Let's play The Witch's House Part 2. So, in the last episode I died from a giant killer bear. So that's why we're starting from the beginning screen, from continue. And um, actually, 24 hours later, that video that you watched, previous part 1, um, I've been actually dying to play again all day, no pun intended. Um, yeah, it's weird. Like. I was that freaked out, but all day I was like, I wanna go home and play the witch's house. Um, but as soon as I actually sit down and get ready to play, I get shivers down my spine again. So, yeah. Um, actually, it was actually pretty hilarious watching myself as I edited the last video. And, um,. You know, I got a lot of comments from you guys. Look, Zion, I clo I turned the lights off as I'm supposed to for playing a horror game. And yeah, well, to be honest, you know, I played this part already. I know what's gonna happen, so it's not as freaky. So I say, but it still is pretty darn freaky. So there's blood on the scissors now. It's gonna be the splat right there. Yes. So I actually went and watched a couple Let's Plays um, after uh, after finishing and uploading the video. And um, I... Oh god. <laughs> That's one of the things I, I heard from the uh, Let's Play. And uh, I can't even talk anymore. What was I gonna say? Um, yeah, I watched some uh, Let's Plays up until the bear part, and uh, I figured that you can run now by holding shift, and that is actually an important thing because, as we saw, I was taking this game too lightly. It's not just like RPG style, it's actually a pretty action-reaction based game. So yeah, I have to think fast. So I put the bear in here. I already know the giant bear is going to come. The unlocking sound from somewhere. I don't know, it's still pretty darn freaky. But so I have to escape. I can't let the bear crush me this time. Alright. In. Uh, out! Let's get out of here. Oh my god, that's scary. Oh shit, stuff moved. Hello, bear. I be you feel like it wasn't there before. It wasn't there before. There's a red paw print on the wall. It's out to get me, isn't it? So, what? Can I go back? Can I go back? Is it there? Ready to kill me? No. I can actually save. Oh. Oh, yeah. Alright. Let's see what kills me in the next room. Hello, everybody. Welcome. I'm back. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. What's this? It's a teddy bear's limbs on the ground. And I... God, I got a line like notification right there, so that double scared me right there. Let's take the limbs, why not? Door open. Hello, hello. Oh god, look. There's a oh the door the, oh, the chairs move. That's great. Um I saw this in a screenshot somewhere. And um something's gonna come out and kill me, I know it. The cook is busy, lend a hand. Let's go in. Let's lend a hand. Hello, cook, where are you? Oh, oh look, the knife is moving on its own. Oh my god. Uh, uh, hi, hi, hi. Um, uh, let's talk to the cook. Oh, I'm busy, I'm busy. I'll lend you a hand. Oh, thank you. Uh, invisible person grabs your arm and uh, they push your wrist onto the guarding board. What? No, 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 oh. oh, God. <laughs> I'm gonna lend you a hand. <laughs> well, that was of the less scary things, I suppose. Take that. How about let's check here. Is there anything in the last room? We let's run. Let's run. Let's go back into this room. There's nothing here. Let's go back up. Woohoo! How about here? Is the witch here? Anything? Anything? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Nope. Empty. So it's got. Oh my God! Whoa! 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 There. Well, oh, okay. Paul Print. There. He's still out to get me. He's still out to get me. He's still out to get me. Hey dude, let's save. So one thing I realized after uh, watching the Let's Play is 
the first cat outside after the door opens, if I talk to him again, it will actually save. So yeah, okay. So now what? So I can't, I can't give a hand to the chef because that'll kill me. What's in the, what's in here? Fireplace, let's look inside. Dead body. Anything? Nothing but suit. Good, yeah. Yeah, way to like, you know, freaking strangely colored soup in a skull shaped bowl. Let's drink it. Why not? Really? Yeah, let's drink it. I'm gonna die, right? Dot dot dot. Dot 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 dot. Play low is poisoned. Heard an unlocking sound somewhere. Uh oh, uh oh, oh. Okay, well. <laughs> I died again. The uh, count is at two. I died twice. Let's continue. Alright, so there was nothing up there. Okay, just continue, continue, continue. So the soup will kill me. Granted, uh, yeah, the soup's gonna kill me. Um, but it unlocks something though. So I wonder if I can just like empty the soup. Don't. Drink it. Never mind. Durr, okay. So I guess I can't do that. Is there anything else that can here? What the? Oh, hello. Jeez, you freak me out. Don't come out of there. Nowhere like that. Uh, should I save here? What if I want to go back to the door? Uh, back to the first floor. I'll save in file too. I like to do that when I have multiple save files. Let's get out of here. Wait, what? This is the first floor? Well, it is the first floor. Oh, that door came out of nowhere. Alright. Well, if that's the case, then let me save over for save file 1 because it makes no difference. Alright, so progress! Yes! Progress. Well, let's go back to the kitchen. And, um, I'm not gonna lend a helping hand, but how about I talk to him again? See if he will kill me. Let's talk. I'm busy, busy. Do nothing. What's this? Uh, dining of aristocrats. This is probably a huge hint. People of ruling and wealthy classes have long enjoyed dining with silverware. By using such hard to clean cutlery, they could hire servants to demonstrate their wealth. In addition, silver utensils change color upon contact with poison, making them quite useful. Okay. So I probably need a silverware thing so that I can check for the poison in the um the what's it called? The soup. Alright, oh bye. So, is there silverware somewhere? What is this? Taste poison. I don't want to taste the poison. So, uh, I'm stuck. What am I supposed to do? I mean, that guy has a knife. And, um... Hmm? I need another hint. Is busy, lend a hand. Uh, wine bottles lined up on the shelf. There's nothing. There's nothing more. I'm gonna go back and save. I don't know. Somehow going back in, going back and saving is like it resets my sanity, <laughs> kind of. All right. So. Hey. have the bare limbs. Hand over bare limbs. Oh, yeah. Oh! <laughs> Here, you can have this hand, not my hand, but the bare hands. Let me show my appreciation. Got a silver key. Alright, that's progress. He gave me something silver, which I can put in the soup to check for the poison. Ah! And yeah, it's a horror game, but it's actually also a half-puzzle game, too. So let's see. So do this. Put the silver key in the soup. And it's gonna change colors. And someone's gonna kill me. The key turned black in the soup. Heard it unlock somewhere. I, I saw something here. Fireplace. Look inside. It's gonna be something that's gonna freak me out here. Hello, hello. Nothing but soup. Okay. Alright, cool. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, 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 that was good. How about more stuff fall? <laughs> What's gonna scare me next? Hey, hey, dude, let me say. 
What if I made the other choice though? So I'm gonna save on fire too. Oh, oh hi, hi, hi. Let's check out. Hey, 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 cook. What's up? Oh, he's gone. Oh, wait, whoa, this book is closed too. Um, I bet this door is gonna open and kill me. Watch. Door open. Hello. Oh, we're on the third floor. Oh my god, who was that? Who was that? Where are you? Where are you? I'm chasing you. I'm chasing you. Oh, look, there's a oh, armor figure with a spear. It feels like it can move at any moment. Yeah, it's gonna kill me eventually. A decorative cat ornament. Gotcha. Uh oh. Oh, he really got me for a second. I'm like, what? I can't save here? That's evil. Right, I'm gonna save over 5 1. Alright. Alright, where are you? Where are you, girl? Where are you? Go? Where's that girl? Where's that girl? Oh my god, there's stuff here. Cobwebs. Hmm? A note? Nothing of nothing to note here. Alright, sure. What's this? Huh? Barrel, nothing inside. How can I get to that thing? Okay, whatever. Oh, look, spider web. Butterfly caught in the web. Take. Yeah, take everything. Yeah, take everything. Take everything. Something's gonna kill me. It's so surprising that I haven't died yet. Oh, it won't open. It won't open. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> I think I was expecting something too much there. Um, okay, so I've played for 11 minutes, but I was thinking of extending this play um, further anyway. So let's continue for another couple more minutes because... Obviously, 11 and a half minutes isn't enough for you guys. Um, oh, that's by You know what's, what's ironic is like... What I do for there? If I take the spider, the spider's gonna come back and try to kill me. It's not like I have anything in my inventory, so... How about we go to the other room then? Yeah, let's go to the other room. What's over here? Hello! Oh my god, a mirror! Yay! What was I saying? Oh yeah, so I was saying that it's ironic that a spider came out because... Um, I was teaching kids today and one of the stories was about a spider and what it eats um, flies and stuff There's someone invisible here Now yeah, let's talk, why not? Swing this book isn't going well, I need something to tie them together Okay You need something to tie them together The book title, Witch's House one. Keys do not open doors in the witch's house Something else must serve as a key Okay Oh, so that key we got was for solving a puzzle but not opening stuff. The form of the house changes based upon the witch's magic. Oh, the witch's magic. Oh god, the, the music is pretty creepy here too. There are old newspaper clippings here, let's read them. XX, XX residents burned down. XX and XX life were found dead in the wreckage. Their bodies were found. They have stab wounds, so it's expected they were murdered and, and the building then set aflame. Additionally, XX's only daughter, Ellen, currently seven, has been missing since the fire. The police. The police what? Yeah, yeah, great. Oh shit. Ah, that must have been Ellen. Behind me. Yeah, why not? A funny story. Yeah, let's read a funny story. It's gonna be probably like evilly gruesome. Once upon a time, there was a rich man pulling a long cart full of treasure. His cart had broken down in the woods, but there came a passing hunter and his dog. The rich man pleaded to the hunter to keep a close eye on his cart, on which the hunter agreed. The rich man went to get a new cart. Meanwhile, the hunter kept watch. Night soon fell, and the hunter grew worried and for his elderly mother still at home. The hunter told the dog to watch the cart and went home to check on his mother. The man returned. He saw a dog on guard. So he gave the dog a reward for his master, a silver coin to carry in his mouth. It would be really messed up if like something sneaks some up on me while I'm reading. The dog ran all the way home and brought his master the coin, but the hunter flew into a rage. I told you to watch the cart. What did you do? Stole from it. So the master killed the dog. Oh, yeah, a laugh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the chair laughed. Haha, <laughs> that's hilarious. Alright, so let's go. Why not? Alright, I wanna save. This thing's gonna kill me, I swear. If I walk in front of it. See, watch. Nope. Okay, it didn't kill me. So, let's play for another couple minutes until something kills me. Something kill me. Models of insect lined up on the glass case. Oh, that's great. That's great. It's so dark here. A picture of a white cat done with wool. I think I was too hyped today. Not as scared today as I was last yesterday. Open a barrel. Scrap paper. Open a barrel. Rope in a barrel. Oh, there's ropes. There's ropes in a barrel. So, oh, okay, okay. I got it. I got it. Now I get it. Oh. So I hope I can do it before something kills me. Something's gonna kill me, dude. I need to save often to keep my sanity straight. And let's go here. 
Um, what we need is a rope and not that butterfly. Rope, rope, where are you, rope? Where are you, rope? Piece of rope and barrel cake. Right. Right, let's get out of here. Um, hopefully the freaking door won't close on me this time because I didn't steal anything. Yes, good. All right. Hello. Save. Let's see if this thing kills me. Oh. Oh, wow. It moved. <laughs> All right. Let's give the ghost a rope. Hello. Talk. All right. Here. Here. Take my rope. And you're going to probably strangle me with it, aren't you? Aha. You're giving me this. Give rope. Thank you. Take this. Book of death. Oh, that, that's amazing. I got a book of death. Well, that wasn't creepy at all. Hello. Alright, so I managed to survive up to here. Yeah. Ah, oh, it's locked. Still locked. But there's text on it. Save the butterfly. Oh, I have to save the butterfly now. Let's go save the butterfly. It told me to save the butterfly, so I'm gonna save the butterfly. Alright, saving the butterfly. Let's get out of here. Oh god. How about the little bit? Well, that was a trap. Alright, I think 17 minutes is enough, so thanks for watching guys, um, I'll continue this in the next episode. I'm sorry I wasn't freaked out as much in this episode, but still, I, I, I think I'm getting the hang of it, yeah. Um, I did get freaked out a couple of times, but alright, see you in the next episode, bye guys.